last season going into this season, obviously uh, first regular season games coming up. Um, what are you guys trying to take from last year? You guys had really good momentum coming out of the season, obviously made it to playoffs for the first time in a while. Well, how is that impacting going into this season now? Well, I, you know, I, I'm not sure how much all that really impacts the, the team going in because every year is... We're happy where we're at. We're happy what happened last year and stuff like that. And then we kind of leave it. And you hope you you learn a lot from that. But going into this year, it's a, it's a total reset. There's uh, there's going to be some different players involved. But the veterans that we have coming back are they've been through a lot. And we expect a lot from them. Yeah, and uh, like you were saying, you're expecting a lot from your veterans too. Um, they've been having a very busy preseason, a uh, very busy summer all in all. And how is that affecting you guys now with the first game? I mean, you're getting a lot more experience. They have all of that extra ice time. And so now you're expecting them to, you know, be that much better. Well, yeah, our, 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 our NHL guys that are gone, they're not going to be back for this weekend. Uh, so, you know, that gives, uh, we've got some young players that we wanted to take a look at. And, and we got a good, really good look at in, in preseason. And, no, it's, uh, we're going to get a look at them in, in regular season, which is going to be very beneficial for them. Um, we just got, uh, we're very, you know, low on numbers right now. We got, uh, we got a, exactly 21 players here. And, uh, you know, so these young guys are going to get a good look. And, you know, we haven't made any final decisions on what a roster is going to look like because we haven't had those guys back yet. So... For all the guys that are still here, the young guys that are still playing, and even some of the veterans, they've got to play good um, uh, to make the team. And I know that uh, obviously when you're going into your first games, you want everything to kind of be like you want to have an idea. Um, you kind of want to take it. You want to take it seriously, obviously. But when I was watching you guys' practice, there's still guys laughing. You know, so guys are still sweating, working their butts off, but you still get guys smiling and laughing. And how important is that too? that you have that little like playfulness that helps with the team bonding going in? Well, you, 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 you can get bogged down in any, anything that you do. And um, when you're playing hockey, you have to have a lot of fun doing it. And these kids, uh, you know, they're, they, they're doing it kind of for, for a business now once you get to the Western Hockey League. But if you don't have fun doing it, it's not worth it. All right, so this is more for me, Mark. But, um, you know, preseason wrapped up, just how you thought your team kind of played in Grand Cash and uh, overall in the preseason, just heading forward and just how crucial those games are to, again, season opener this weekend. Well, I, I, I really liked a lot of things that, uh, that our team did in preseason. The one thing about preseason is you really have to look at your own team and you have to... Um, you have to evaluate accordingly because, you know, sometimes, like, I'll pick the first game against Vancouver. Um, we were a lot younger, and that's how you evaluate. You know, they, they had a older lineup in, but we, ex- we expect to go in there, compete, and, and win the hockey game. And in that game in particular, I was really happy the way we played. Uh, the rest of the games, the same thing. We had some different looks, uh, went into Grand Cash, played very well both games, and, you know, just some learning experiences in, in, the, in the third game and even the fourth game that we can really use uh, going into the regular season. Um, and then uh, one last one for you. Just You mentioned um, that, you know, the NHL guys most likely won't be back here for this weekend. Talk a little bit about, you know, the, how big of a test this weekend is against the Tri-City Americans uh, for your team's depth and, uh, you know, maybe future changes down the road if the performances aren't there. But talk a little bit about, you know, how important this depth test is this weekend. Well, it's, it's regular season. And um, the one thing about regular season, it doesn't matter who's in your lineup because there's still points at the end of it. Just because you don't have your guys back, we're, we're here to win. And, uh, you know, the guys that are in that dressing room right now are capable. Um, I got one. Just the vibe right now. It's getting ready for regular season. Camp's done. Exhibition's done. Like, just the, the vibe. It must be very exciting knowing that you get a, get a chance here at the regular season starting Friday. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's the same every year. Um, you, you, you're exciting for, you know, excited for training camp, and then, then you get through training camp, and you're real excited for preseason, and then you get through preseason, and now the regular season. But the regular season is different because it's real, right? You know, so I don't know. My body has been, you know, trained for this. I've been in it uh, so long as a player and as a, as a coach, and. You know, you start getting those dreams. You start getting a little anxious. And, you know, last night in my dream, I, I lost my pen again. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I need to write down the lineup, but I don't have it. So that just means I'm getting ready.